From the tree nicknamed the Death Apple Tree, whose fruit causes irreversible damage and agonizing death, to the plant called the Witch's Herb, which causes trances and hallucinations, here are the most dangerous plants in the world. The Manchineal Tree is one of the most dangerous trees in the world. To the untrained eye, it looks like an apple tree, but it is so poisonous that it was soon dubbed the Apple Tree of Death. Common near beaches in tropical regions, this tree is usually marked with red marks on the bark to dissuade walkers from approaching it. But let's imagine that you are in Guadalupe or Martinique, where this tree is quite common, and that you are not aware of its toxicity. As you walk by the manchineel, you don't notice anything strange. The bark of this tree is gray, its leaves are shiny and oval, and its fruit looks like an apple. You might be tempted to try it, or to rest the foot of this tree, which is big and bushy enough to protect you from the weather. But that would be a mistake you could pay for with your life. The Spanish conquerors who discovered this tree in America called it the Tree of Death because all its parts are highly toxic. The bark, the leaves, the sap, and the fruit. And they learned this the hard way. The fruit of this tree smells like lemon, and if you taste it, you'll find it pleasantly sweet. But the pleasure soon disappears as you begin to feel intense burning. Your reflex will be to spit out the piece of this terrible apple. But it's too late. Your throat tightens, your tongue becomes swollen, and you are prey to excessive watering. Not only that, but your hand, which touched the fruit, is covered with purpuric stains. You are suffering from a hemorrhage lesion of the skin. If you are lucky, the symptoms of intense burning in the throat will disappear about eight hours later, as was the case for Nicola Strickland, who described this experience. If you are unlucky, you develop pharyngeal edema, which can be fatal, and your blood pressure drops dramatically. It is important to know that the sap of this tree was used by the Native Americans to defend themselves from invaders. They soaked their weapons and arrows with it to cause more damage to their enemies. The toxicity of manchineal has been known for a very long time. Today, intoxications are not very frequent because these trees are generally marked with red crosses to warn of their danger. In the northeast of Australia, the shrub we are going to talk about inspires a real terror. The Gimpy Gimpy, the most dangerous stinging plant species in the world. To get a good idea of the degree of toxicity of this plant, let's put ourselves in the shoes of Marina Hurley, who was now an Australian ecologist. When she was studying at a university in Queensland, Australia, she decided to research the herbivores that feed on stinging trees. So she went to the clearings, along streams and small roads, where these species of trees are usually found. Of course, she took some precautions, wearing a protective mask and welder's gloves. But when she came into contact with the Gimpy Gimpy, she soon realized that these safety measures were not enough. Marina had sneezing and running nose for several hours. It was not pleasant at all, but she feared much worse, as she had heard frightening reports about the toxic effects of Gimpy Gimpy. For the young student, this was just the beginning of her troubles. Her pain had intensified over the hours to the point of being unbearable. Marina said later that it was like being burned with hot acid and being electrocuted at the same time. The stings that formed on her skin required hospitalization and treatment with steroids. The case of Marina Hurley became quite well known. In fact, there are many accounts of the effects of Gimpy Gimpy, and the unfortunate victims report a crushing sensation in the chest, unbearable corrosive burns that last up to two weeks. Ricin is the most virulent poison in the plant kingdom and is often used as a biological weapon. You're probably familiar with this toxin, made famous by several television series, including Breaking Bad and Lucky Man. However, its real-life criminal application surpasses fiction, as you will see. One of the most famous cases of ricin poisoning is that of Georgi Ivanov Markov. This man was a Bulgarian journalist and political dissident of the 20th century. Opposed to the communist regime of his country, he was the target of the KGB, which is the main intelligence service of the USSR. The Bulgarian secret police had already tried several times to assassinate Georgi Markov without success, but the third attempt was successful, and the method of execution was very original. The KGB and the local police used an umbrella whose tip was replaced by a silent pistol that injected ricin into the victim's body. One evening in London, Markov was hit in the calf by this umbrella while waiting for the bus. At first, he did not worry about this insignificant incident, but in reality, his days were already numbered. A few moments later, the place where he was hit by the umbrella was red, swollen, and painful. A few hours later, he developed a high fever and was admitted to the hospital. Markov soon realized that he had been poisoned but had no proof. After his death three days later, the autopsy proved it. The forensic doctors found a tiny spherical projectile containing ricin in his leg. This substance had passed into the victim's blood vessels, and this is what caused his death. Anyway, he could not have been cured because there is no antidote to this poison. Ricin is so toxic that one decigram can kill a man of more than 100 kilos. 
Originating from the common castor bean, a tropical shrub, ricin is considered to be 6,000 times more toxic than cyanide. It can kill you if you breathe it or if you ingest it. But it is especially by inhalation that it is very dangerous because it causes pulmonary edema. Georgi Markov is not the only victim of a ricin murder. This type of murder was commonly practiced by the Communist Secret Service. Now we will talk about a plant that, although very famous, continues to cause many accidental deaths, hemlock. This poison is most famous for having been used as a method of execution for those condemned to death in ancient Greece. Today, many hikers, not sufficiently warned, consume it by mistake. It was the case during the summer of 2020 of a young man from Paris, 26 years old, named Ulysses. He had gone to the forest to do a survival course in the wilderness. Everything was going well for him until he wanted to eat some wild carrots, which were in fact saffron and anthes, a plant belonging to the hemlock family. Shortly afterwards, Ulysses suffered terrible stomach pains and then went into cardiorespiratory arrest. The firemen who tried to rescue him were unable to do so. Hemlock is dangerous because it contains conine. 0.2 grams of this neural poison can cause death by respiratory paralysis. Unfortunately, Ulysses is far from being the only one to confuse this toxic plant with the benign plant of the Apiaceae family. Indeed, the plant and the root of the hemlock resemble almost in all points of the parsnip, the celery, the shrivel of wood, and the carrot. However, there are a few differences. For example, hemlock has a very bad odor, comparable to cat urine, and its leaves are hairless, which is not the case with carrots. The black henbane is a rustic plant, which can be found in Europe and Asia, and which is known since an immemorial age for its hallucinogenic properties. It is called the witch's herb, or the beautiful sleeper, and this powerful narcotic has aroused curiosity since ancient Egypt. Today, in very low doses, the medical profession uses black henbane to relieve abdominal pain or toothache. In the past, it could have been prepared in therapeutic potions, but it was mostly valued for its toxic effects. Indeed, the black henbane causes hallucinations. It leads to a splitting of the conscience and gives the illusion to fly in the air and explore new worlds. Moreover, the Greek oracles used to enter in divinatory trances and formulate then prophecies. On the other hand, it is also used as poison. In short, henbane has always been associated with black magic and occult powers. Its repulsive appearance and foul odor have not been in its favor either. But what would happen if you came in contact with one of these parts of the plant? Or if you ingested it? Well, there is no great danger if you touch it. On the other hand, ingesting the seeds and the root, for example, can cause serious digestive and visual disorders while threatening your cardiorespiratory system. Better to stay away from it. Between June and July, if you are walking in the mountains, you may come across a relatively rare plant called wolfsbane. If you are curious about its appearance and want to examine it closely, it would be a very bad idea. Wolfsbane is one of a genus of herbaceous plants that contain alkaloids, which are highly toxic organic molecules. Wolfsbane contains aconitine, a very dangerous substance. If this plant has this original vernacular name Wolfsbane, it is because men used it since antiquity to poison their spears and arrows in order to kill dangerous predators such as tigers or wolves. Aconitine, contained in this plant, is a neurotoxin so powerful that it can be used as a biological weapon. During the Second World War, the Germans undertook research to manufacture aconitine ammunition. Fortunately, this research was abandoned due to lack of time. In case of aconitine poisoning, you may experience excessive sweating, vomiting, numbness, and a general decrease in sensitivity. Then, cardiorespiratory paralysis may occur, resulting in death. Three milligrams of this toxic substance can be enough to produce these devastating effects. But you are unlikely to encounter this fascinating plant that blooms at an altitude of over 2,400 meters. So much the better. The species of plant we are going to talk about is not found in all climates. To see it, you have to go to Southern Africa, for example, in South Africa. Let's assume that you are there and that you are traveling through the arid regions that are favorable to the development of this unique plant. If the purpose of your wanderings is to discover exotic flora, you will not fail to be attracted by the Hydnora africana, a rare, ugly, and fascinating plant species with a unique shape that can reach 20 centimeters in height. At first glance, this bizarre plant looks like a disemboweled pumpkin. You approach this plant cautiously because it does not inspire you confidence. You notice bristly hairs on the opening that look like sharp teeth. However, this plant, from the Hydnorisae family, is not strictly speaking carnivorous. It should also be added that it does not need light to flourish. Until reproduction, its growth takes place below the ground. Indeed, Hydnora africana feeds on the roots of other plants and is thus part of the class of parasitic plants. 
So you admire this fantastic plant and you are waiting impatiently to see what is special about it. If you are patient enough, you might see Hidnori africana closing in on a beetle and somehow swallowing it. This is because this plant is pollinated by insects that crawl into its sepals and remain locked up sometimes for several days. Once released, these insects spread the pollen to other flowers. However, you perceive a detail that bothers you a lot. This plant gives off a disgusting odor, close to that of fecal matter. It is not an illusion. Hydnora africana exhales this stench to attract pollinating insects. Malodorous, parasitic, unsightly, Hydnora africana does not make you want to welcome it in your vegetable garden. Nevertheless, it is valuable for medical research as it can help cure diseases such as dysentery. This is the end of our video, where you can discover the toxic properties of some plants that you will carefully try to avoid. But among all these very dangerous plants, which one scares you the most? As usual, don't hesitate to answer and give your impressions in the comment section. Do you like this video? Then don't forget to put a like, to subscribe to the channel, and to activate the bell in order to not miss anything of our next publications.